Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube! My name is Sea Raptor, and it's time for more Scuttlebutt. This week's featured game is in Tier 8 Italian cruiser Amalfi. Of course, this ship is still in testing, so, you know, give or take. Enjoy, enjoy the game, but you never know what might change. They're still messing around with SAP shells, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. One of the things about Amalfi is she has really, really good speed and really, really good handling. But that speed can get her into trouble, especially in the early stages of a match. You have to stay frosty of your board position. In this game, I'm actually going to intentionally use that speed to get into the position that I want, which is the kind of north-northeastern corner of the map here. Uh, this is a pretty quick game, so I've got to get on with the video. Um, but I do pretty good damage for, for a game that lasts less than 10 minutes, so do enjoy. So obviously, it's, it's been a couple of weeks since I produced a scuttlebutt. That was intentional the first week, given the Labor Day holiday in the U.S. and the fact that my wife and I were uh, at Dragon Con in Atlanta. Last week, though, I sat down to make one of these and only to discover that there really wasn't a whole lot to talk about. I mean, I probably could have pieced something together, but it, I would have really been stretching it. So I decided to wait another week and see what Wargaming did. Luckily, this was a busier week, so we have more to talk about. Let's get on with it. Of course... Start off with the weekly reminder to check out the NA Forum contest at the link down in the video description. You can always, almost always win some kind of camos or possibly a chance at premium time just for fulfilling a, a simple requirement and then posting a screenshot for the NA community team there in the thread. They come back in later, they hand out prizes. Easy way to get something just for, for playing the game. Uh, Anchors Away, still going on, of course. We've got lots of these still to come. Anchors Away, uh, Turner Joy is coming up this week. Wargaming NA community staff will be at the USS Turner Joy in Bremerton, Washington, this coming Saturday and Sunday, both 21 and 22 September. I'm pretty sure that the Saturday session is sold out because the Sunday session was added later. Uh, I absolutely encourage you guys to head out, meet the Wargaming community team uh, and your fellow players, and explore uh, what is probably a very, very good museum ship. I've not been to Turner Joy myself. She's on my list. I hope to get there, but I haven't been there yet. There are quite a few community contributors planning on attending this event. Uh, my buddy Virtual Senpai is coming down for Vancouver. Uh, Kriegor's driving in. High Fire is going to be there. And I think Vanessa of the Worships podcast is also planning on going. So make sure you stop in, meet each of them, shake their hands, chat with them about the content they make, uh, and enjoy hanging out with your fellow players. A uh, friendly reminder that the dates for King of the C9 have been announced, so get your teams ready. Sign-ups are going to open probably in the next week or 10 days. Keep your eyes open for a portal article on the main site. Qualification rounds will start on live on Twitch in just a few weeks on Sunday, 6 October. Um, probably the one big thing that I could have talked about last week was a really long, informative Q&A session that Sub Octavian did on Reddit. He used to do this pretty regularly. It's been a few months since the last one, but he did one. Uh, it's chock full of great info. Go check it out for yourself. I'm going to link the, both the summary thread that someone built below that somebody did like a Reader's Digest version, so hats off to that guy. Um, and I'm also going to link the original thread if you want to go forth with the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to hit a couple of highlights, though. The previously announced changes to IFHE are still in development, but not with a clear timetable that they're gonna when they're gonna arrive. For me, this is a shame because I've kind of long considered IFHE to be one of the more really ridiculous skills since the big commander revamp of of 6.0. This 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 skill needs tweaking, right? Like I'm not gonna say it needs to be removed because I think that's too far, but it needs it needs changing. Uh, it's just it's it's too much right now. Um, the revert to the gun, the gun bloom bug, quote unquote bug, uh, should be long in the next patch or two. This is great news. It was a lot more intuitive in the old, in the bugged system that when a ship fired and then broke line of sight, um, uh, you would, you know, your, your detection bloom would stay shrunken. Uh, right now it's like if you fire, you go behind an island, you come out behind the island again, your bloom goes back up. What is this? It's just weird. So they're finally going to get back to this, um, back to the, the, the better way. Um, they're finally acknowledging and having internal conversations about burnout. For me, this is huge. It's taken the collective voice of the community a while to get heard on this, um, but the team in St. Petersburg is finally taking notice. Several of us in the CC community have been kind of warning about this for a while, but now that more and more players have chimed in, it's getting some more attention. So, I don't know, maybe they're seeing something in long-term player retention that has them concerned. I have no idea. But whatever the case, I'm just glad to know that it's getting some attention because overloading players pushes them away just as readily as not providing enough for them to do. I know I've been logging on a lot less these past few weeks, and the break has been good, but some of it is due to all of this. Uh, speaking of events and burnout, for those of you who may have missed out on the legendary captains, uh, Russian uh, Kuznetsov and French Abonyo, 
uh, sub confirmed that they will eventually be available for coal. We don't know when yet, no confirmation of that, but if you were unable or simply unwilling to grind them out during the events, you'll be able to snag them again in the not-too-distant future for regular old coal in the armory. Uh, lots of other really good, interesting stuff in that in that, that thread. I just scratched the surface. Go read. Educate yourself. It's always, always time well spent. Uh, the pace of news hit a notable slowdown after Gamecom. Gamescom. Things picked up a little bit this week, so we'll hit some of the dev blog posts. Uh, we got more details on previously announced Tier 8 German light cruiser mines, and a new premium ship was announced in the same post that is Tier 7 Italian cruiser Gorizia. Now, Gorizia is one of Zara's sister ships, so she's understandably very similar. This is a Tier 7 premium Italian cruiser with eight 203mm guns. Uh, at first glance, the big changes seem to be the removal of her torpedo armament, which historically she didn't, Zara didn't have anyway, um, and they've given her hydro, hydroacoustic search. Uh, she also reloads her main battery even slower than that of Zara, so I'm... Mm. I'm mixed. I have a mixed opinions, right? Like so far, I'm really enjoying the Italian cruisers, but I'm not super excited for this design of this ship in her current iteration. So I don't know. We'll put her in the. We'll put her on the board. We'll put her through some paces when she comes to production testing. But until then, we'll just see where they go. I am excited for mines. I cannot wait for this ship. I've long, long, long wanted this configuration of Hipper to come to the game. So super stoked for that one when it finally arrives. Um, the really, really big announcement that they posted had to do with the Italian cruiser arc, um, which apparently is going to kick off as, as soon as 8.9, which should be mm, probably coming, well, let's see, we're in 8.7 now, 8.8 8 will launch probably pretty much next week, um, and then 8.9 should come in late October, so like by November, you'll start seeing Italian cruisers in games, because uh, they'll be earnable, uh, via, via preview versions, right? That's how they do these now. Um... They also spoiled the new Italian port, Taranto, which looks really, really awesome. I'm excited to see that. Um, but the best thing in this particular announcement, the thing that just I was so stoked for, is for at last we are getting a spectator mode. Now, for most players, this means bupkis. But for myself and for the handful of people who kind of, I don't want to say specialize, but like put a focus on trying to display and show competitive warships to players on Twitch or li and other live means, this is monumental. We've been asking for this forever. Um, it doesn't sound like it's going to come until 8.9, so we may not have it for all of King of the Sea. We may have it towards the end. It's kind of hard to say right now, but uh, we'll see. But I'm just glad that it's coming in general. It's going to be, I just, yay, can't get here soon enough. Um, they also previewed this year's Halloween event, so check that out. These are almost always a ton of fun. Uh, lots of interesting camos in there. Lots of creepy... Like, like creature-y kind of camos. There's like a Yamato camo with some kind of scorpion crab-looking thing on the superstructure. Really, really interesting design. The art guys obviously have a lot of fun with Halloween. Um, and the last the last point of these posts there was a round of changes announced for ships in production testing. Most of the Italian cruisers got touched in some fashion. Most of them had their ranges tweaked. The auto bounce angles for, for semi-armor piercing shells were changed. Again, to the shock of no one. Um, to me, the biggest change, the best change that was on this list was that uh, Zara, her her fancy um, full-speed smoke, um, she had been, it used to have a 25-second duration, the same as the Tier 5. Uh, tier 5's Raimondo Montecuccoli and Tier 6 is Trento, but they're changing Zara to get the 40-second smoke, just like the Tier 8, 9, and 10 cruisers get. So that's that's really, really awesome. I'm glad to see that coming. So anyways, there you go, guys. I mean, that's it's a pretty quick old little game here in Amalfi, but uh, we racked up 100,000 damage and, um, you know... I can't really complain. I, this is this is one of these steamrolls that seems to be very frequent these days. But uh, we had a lot of fun. I really I'm learning to really like the Italian ships once you learn the Italian cruisers. I should say once you learn how to put them in certain positions. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Play more content queued up this week. I'm gonna try and get a scuttlebutt out early next week, but I won't promise anything because I'm going to I'm gonna be in Puerto Rico over the weekend on our way to our cruise in the Caribbean. So I may or may not get a scuttlebutt out, but there will be more videos coming on the on the channel, even though I will not be here. Okay, y'all take care. Be safe out there. Have fun with the new patch, and I'll see you next time.